Cryptocurrencies and blockchain have been there for us for more than a decade. But nowadays, they are mostly used as a financial tool for trading and saving capital. In addition, due to their complexity and high volatility, the majority of users of cryptocurrencies are technically experienced people, but for the general public and businesses, this technology is still something incomprehensible. However, as opposed to the described above, today I want to tell you about the blockchain platform which will be very helpful to ordinary people, small businesses and large corporations to join the world of cryptocurrencies and without special technical knowledge and large investments. So we are going to talk about the sharing platform. It's not just a single website or smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain. Sharing is a global ecosystem that includes many different services with different purposes such as sharing ID, sharing shop, sharing app, share pay, sharing ledger, its own cryptocurrency tokens and much more. But I believe that first we should talk about the technical and economic components of the sharing platform, discuss its blockchain and tokens, because the main topic I cover on my channel is cryptocurrencies and blockchain technologies. So, the sharing platform is operating on the basis of its own blockchain called Share Ledger, which is based on the Tendermint core. The consensus algorithm on which a Share Ledger blockchain works is Least Proof of Stake, or LPOs for short. The mechanics of which is similar to the DPoS algorithm or maybe even more close to the consensus of the Waves cryptocurrency blockchain, which I mentioned earlier on my channel. Both of these factors, the Tendermint core and the least proof-of-stake consensus algorithm, make it possible for the sharing blockchain to be highly scalable, all the transactions on the network are quite cheap, and the speed of their operation allows to use sharing at the corporate level while not being afraid of network overload. As for the tokenomics of the sharing platform, it has two fundamentally different tokens that are CHR and CHRP. The CHR token is a utility token, a kind of fuel for the entire sharing ecosystem. Here you can pay for transactions when working with the sharing protocols and sending transactions, and it's also awarded to validators who contain their own master nodes. The second token, CHRP, is a token of the internal sharing payment system called SharePay. This payment system and the CHRP token allow you to make quick and convenient payments between network participants. At the same time, users do not have to worry about market volatility when using the CHRP token, since it's stable unlike the utilitarian CHR token. That's why of these two tokens, only CHR is currently traded on exchanges. Bitmart and Binance DEX and users can buy the CHRP stablecoin directly through the sharing payment gateway for fair currency without any excessive commissions to third-party organizations. Now let's talk about how you can apply the sharing ecosystem in practice and in real life. At the moment, as far as I have understood, sharing has two flagship products, sharing app and sharing shop. The sharing app is a mobile application where users can purchase air tickets and other transportation services, including car rentals, as well as book and pay for hotel rooms and apartments around the world. Furthermore, this application runs on the Share Ledger blockchain that ensures reliable and transparent data storage, largely due to its own identification system from Sharing, Sharing ID. This service allows sharing users to pass verification only once and then simply use the data from the sharing blockchain in various organizations and services. For example, in hotels, instead of sending someone scans of their documents or messing around with their paper version. Such an approach will allow users to forget about the leak of their personal data and give them more control over their confidential information. The second flagship product from sharing is a sharing shop. This is a global marketplace where various local organizations and businesses can place their products and services, selling these to people near them in the most reliable and convenient ecosystem, accepting payments in CHRP stable coins that in future can easily be exchanged for fiat. At the moment, the sharing shop operates only in one city in Australia, but it's already showing quite good results because customers regularly order products from local suppliers who deliver their orders throughout the day. 
And thanks to the blockchain, this whole system works stably and with low costs, because there is no need to spend money on third-party intermediaries. In addition to these products, Sharing also has several other functional services, such as the ID system and payment gateway, which I have briefly discussed in the video. But it seems to me that these two flagship products will be the calling card of Sharing, because due to their simplicity, they will be able to get more users involved into cryptocurrencies and blockchain technologies in their everyday lives.